Sunday night and the big story on Action News is breaking right now. Two new presumptive positive cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in our area this afternoon, both in Montgomery County. Action News has learned both of the patients have traveled internationally prior to being tested. The two new cases bring the total number of presumptive positive cases in Montgomery County to four. A man in Worcester and a woman in Lower Gwinnett Township are also being treated for the virus. We learned on Friday that a woman in Delaware County is in isolation after contracting what's presumed to be COVID-19. And in Camden County, a man in his 60s tested presumptive positive for the virus and is in isolation tonight at Jefferson Cherry Hill Hospital. All of the patients in our area are said to have mild symptoms. We have team coverage of the presumptive cases of COVID-19 in our area. Action News reporter Andy McCormick has details on a school in Montgomery County closing due to concerns about the virus. But we begin with George Solis live outside the county's health department in Norristown with the latest on the two new cases. George. Yeah, Walter, officials have not said specifically where these two new presumptive positive cases of COVID-19 are in Montgomery County. However, we do know they are both adults, both with mild symptoms and currently at home. And as you mentioned, these are cases that were contracted from international travel, meaning they did not get the virus here in the county. Montgomery County officials briefing the public Sunday on two of their now four cases of coronavirus in the region. I'm very happy to tell you that both individuals have mild symptoms that do not require hospitalization. Word of these two presumed positive cases of the virus breaking Saturday, meaning they are still awaiting confirmation from the CDC. Today, officials providing more info on where and how the two patients contracted the virus. An adult male that lives in Worcester and an adult female that lives in Lower Gwinnett. They did not acquire the virus here in our Montgomery County community. County officials also issuing an emergency declaration. We're doing this in an abundance of caution because it actually frees up some resources for us as a county. Officials in Delaware County also holding a press conference today. This afternoon we are happy to report that there are no new cases in Delaware County. Officials there saying a woman who also tested presumed positive is still in isolation at home. People she's been in contact with have also been tested. Anyone who was identified to be at risk has been tested and quarantined if necessary. County officials also announcing limited visitation into the county's nursing home. In New Jersey, a man in his 60s is now in isolation at Jefferson Cherry Hill Hospital, whose test also came back with presumed positive. Action News also speaking with a couple from Morristown, New Jersey, on board the Grand Princess that was circling international waters near the San Francisco Bay after a coronavirus outbreak. We haven't been told anything. California officials saying passengers will soon begin disembarking as soon as Monday at the Port of Oakland. And again, as far as the Pennsylvania cases go, officials stressing they are not community spread, meaning they got the virus presumably from a place with a known outbreak, not here in the state.